Hi everyone, welcome to my weekend. Today is Saturday, so the weekend is here at last. And although I'm still doing a little bit of work, I'm a bit happier today because today has started off a little bit cooler. I mentioned in my previous video, either yesterday or the day before, about how hot it's been. And especially at night time, it means sort of broken sleep for me and I've been waking up early. Now I still did wake up early this morning, about five o'clock, uh, but I got up, went to the toilet, went back to bed and managed to get back to sleep for about an hour, hour and a half. So at least we got a little bit of a break in the really sort of sticky weather. Although at the time of recording this, which is about 10.30, looking at my imaginary watch, yeah, it's about 10.30, uh, it is getting a little bit warmer. So we're probably in for still sort of warm weather anyway. But at least it's a little bit more manageable. I like it when it's this sort of temperature, so not too hot, but still nice and sunny. Anyway, my day so far, yep, I had an early start, did some video work in the morning, dropped my daughter off to work, and then picked up a McDonald's breakfast, and now I'm back in the studio. Now, I don't normally work at weekends, but I'm doing some video scheduling today, so just sorting out what videos I'm gonna put up on the channel for next week. Not all of them are recorded, I'm looking at my little list now. I've got one, two, three recorded, which I'm going to schedule and do the thumbnails for, and then I've got four that I've still got to do. So that will be next week. And actually, I'll let you know, we've got a couple of question of the day videos. We've also got a Logitech K830 keyboard, which looks really good, a budget Android tablet, which I was quite surprised with how good it was for the money. Also some really cool headphones, and then that big reveal next weekend, the little projects I've been working on, so super excited about that. And the rest of the day today, after I've done that, is probably going to be a little bit relaxing because I'm just so, so tired. Tomorrow, my daughter is doing a boot fair. So we've got lots of organising to do for that sort of later on today. Just, just a bit of sort of box stacking and getting things ready. And then tomorrow morning, on Sunday, we will drop her off early to the boot fair. And then we'll just go off and do whatever we're going to do and then pick her up later, pick her up later on in the day. Hopefully she'll have a good day and she's selling some of my stuff but mainly her sort of clothes and bits and pieces she's accumulated over the past year or two just to have a good clear out. And boot fairs are great actually. You don't often make loads and loads of money because people are on the hunt for a bargain but you can at least sort of clear some stuff out of the way. Uh, we've also got a couple of charity bags as well which we sort of take down to a charity shop. So, so that's good. It should be a good Sunday. Hopefully the weather will be good for the boot fair anyway. So I've just arrived at the boot fair and it's pretty busy already. I'll give you a little look. There's sort of car parking out that side and then all of the people selling over that side. My daughter is going to be somewhere over there. Let's go and take a look. So it's now late afternoon on Sunday and I've got four pieces of bad news. Well, not really bad news, but me ranting about something. And then I'm gonna save the one bit of good news until last. So anyway, I forgot to tell you that yesterday I was traveling home, driving up a main road, round about, I would say 25 miles per hour. Might have been a little bit less than that actually, but about 25. And out of a side road, somebody pulled out right in front of me sort of halfway into the lane that I was driving in. And it's the first time that I can remember in probably the last maybe three or four years that I had to do a full on like proper emergency stop, like really put my brakes on hard. The anti-lock brakes kicked in and I came to like a juddering stop. And I think I was probably 
about two or three inches away from hitting this car. The lady looked up, she obviously saw what I'd done or had to do, and she apologized, admittedly, she sort of said, oh, sorry, and et cetera, et cetera. But then, instead of reversing back into the side road and letting me get on my way, she then pulled out the rest of the way to the middle line of the road, waiting for the traffic to come in the opposite direction so she could continue on her journey. And I sat there for a good minute, really getting angry, like, well, not really angry, but getting annoyed at the situation. So I beeped, you know, and said, you know, you should have moved back in the road. And she waved and smiled and went on her way. And it just amazes me, the drivers or some of the drivers nowadays and total lack of sort of respect for other drivers. I'm always, what I would say is fairly courteous. I let the occasional person go if I need to. And, you know, I'm just courteous. And if somebody lets me go, I always say thank you, etc., etc. So anyway, that's rant number one. Rant number two out of four, I went out this afternoon to pick my daughter up from the boot fair that she'd been doing today. And driving home along the main road again, and this time I was going nearly 30 miles an hour, car pulled straight out in front of me. And so for the second day running, I had to do an emergency stop so really slammed my brakes on, hand on the horn, and he was very apologetic, admittedly, because he obviously hadn't seen me at all, and he did apologise through his sort of rear view mirror um, for quite a long time. He kept apologising because I was then driving behind him. So he kept apologising for probably about a minute, minute and a half. So he obviously felt really bad about it. But then he continued to drive really slowly, so I stuck behind him for about a mile, mile and a half, and he was going 20 miles an hour in a 30 mile an hour zone. So a uh, bit of frustration there. Yet again, somebody not paying attention. Lucky I was paying attention, because otherwise I'd have slammed into him and probably written off his car and my car. So, because it, it was that sort of short notice he really did pull out in front of me. Continued my journey home. So that's rant number two, now we're rant number three. Continue driving home, driving down through like a town centre sort of area, and there was a Mercedes 4x4 in front of me, not that the car matters, but Mercedes 4x4, and all of a sudden, she just, and I say she, not that that should matter either, but the lady driver in this case, just uh, pulled out into the middle of the road on a Pelican Crossing, which is like, if you're not in the UK, it's like a, a dedicated crossing place uh, with traffic lights for pedestrians to cross. She pulled round into the middle of the road and I had to stop again, not emergency stop, but I had to stop and wait while she did a three point turn to go in the opposite direction with zigzag lines and a pelican crossing. Oh my goodness. Now on this occasion, I beeped and I wound my window down because I was wanted to point out so you really shouldn't turn around on a pelican crossing that's very dangerous not only to other road users but also to pedestrians as well so inconsiderate she started to wind her window down and then somebody at the side of the road shouted at me and said give the lady some time she's turning round oh my goodness I just couldn't believe it. So by this stage of the journey, which is a fairly short journey, it's only about, I'd say 25 to 30 minutes maximum. I was like, I'm just gonna tootle home at a reasonable pace and, and you know, just get home and have a cup of tea. Driving a bit further along, about five minutes later, I had to stop again. Again, not an emergency stop, but I was driving reasonable distance from the car in front uh, sort of single file roads, uh, like single file in each direction. And when a bus normally stops, you have to wait behind the bus until there's room to go round. And what did this guy do? He stopped in the bus lane and proceeded to open his door without even looking at what other traffic was on the road. So yet again, I had to sort of wait until there was an appropriate time to go round the vehicle and proceed on my journey. So it's like four rants and four people that just amaze me. And it certainly is really noticeable 
nowadays. When I first started driving, which was a long, long time ago, I've had my license for, what, 26 years, roughly. And when I first started driving, and even as far as probably maybe five years back, maybe a little bit more than that, everyone was so courteous. They would, if they were going to get into their car and they could see you coming or driving along, then they would wait. But now people just walk out, open their door, they don't look, um, they pull up just in the middle of nowhere and much like the examples I've given you today, not exactly examples, much like the things that happened today, that happens quite a lot and people generally are very rude, you know, really, really rude, I, I just can't understand it. And that reminds me about people being rude, before I go on to the one bit of good news, another rant was we went to a supermarket today, into a Tesco supermarket, and I was looking around for my wife because she'd gone off to do something else and I was looking around to see where she was in the shop and there was a guy behind me pushing a trolley. I would say he was in his late 40s, early, early 50s and he was right up close behind me and I'm just sort of looking left and right down the aisles to see where my wife is. Plenty of room for him to go around me and I'm not sure if he directed at me but I heard him mutter on his breath get the F out the way. Now, perhaps he was thinking that and didn't mean it to come out of his mouth. Perhaps he was thinking, oh, I wish this guy in front would move, but it actually came out so it was audible and I heard it. Now, I didn't challenge him because there was no point, you know, there would have just been no point. Somebody with that sort of attitude, not worth really turning around to. And I don't know that he directed it to me, but I just wanted to share that with you as well. But anyway, on to the good news. Now the good news is my daughter did the boot fair today. It didn't rain, little tiny bits of drizzle towards the end of the boot fair, but I think she managed from, from her text that she sent me before she was packing up the, the stuff back into the car, I think she did really well, about 300 pounds. And that's really good. Now some of it was her stuff she was selling, some of it was mine. The deal I had with her was whatever you sell a mine, you keep half the money. So she's really happy because she's got some extra money. She's planning on going to some concert in the summer as well. So that can certainly more than pay for her ticket and her day out. So she's really happy and she had a good day. One of her friends went along to help her. So yeah, really good. Good that she had that sort of ingenuity uh, and business sense to go and do something and earn herself some money. So really happy that she had a good day and sold plenty of stuff. So anyway, it is Father's Day today. I've looked in the fridge, I took a sneak peek in the fridge and there is something under a cloth in the fridge. So it's all masked out so I can't see what's underneath the cloth. So I'm rather excited about that. And I'm also gonna get a cup of tea apparently, according to my son. So I'm gonna put my feet up and relax for the rest of the day because it was an early start. Lots of to and fro lots of driving, unpacking and packing cars. So I'm gonna relax for the rest of the day. To all you fathers out there, I hope you had a fantastic Father's Day on Sunday and to everyone else I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Thanks very much for watching my video. Please do hit that like button and let me know why you're liking the video. If you didn't like the video hit the appropriate button but do let me know why. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, there are two places you can find the subscribe button. On the main channel page, it's just up here in the top right hand corner. If you're on a video watch page, then you'll find it just underneath the video you've been watching. Click on the subscribe button and that means that you are now subscribed to the Geekanoids channel. But there is one more step you must take. Click on the little cog icon next to the subscribed button put a tick in the send me updates box and click save. Job done. Thank you very much for watching again. I'll see you next time.